Stop out biting everything. Ow! breakfast who's ready for breakfast who's ready for breakfast Welcome back to the vlog. Um, as you can see, things are a bit chaotic over here with two children, one who is particularly larger than all of us combined. Um, she's gonna knock my camera over. <laughs> but um, yeah, today is just kind of a regular Saturday here at the house, plus the addition of our new friend. Um, I am babysitting our friend's dog for the next few days. I did not adopt this dog, although I would love to have her because she is just an angel, but she's a little crazy. Um, she's a puppy, she's only eight months old, so she's just like, just wants to play all day long and just cannot be stopped out biting everything. Ow! Millie! Dude, she's freaking bit my ass like three times already. It's so painful. Millie, ow! Yeah, just a regular Saturday, sort of. Um, I am going to make us some lunch, which is basically just heating over whatever leftovers are in the fridge. I have to film a YouTube video for my plant channel and um, go grocery shopping and restock on some makeup stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a pretty average Saturday. Oh my word. so I'm going to attempt to whip up something for us to eat with whatever is in the fridge and I will show you what all of our leftovers are and honestly I could probably clean out the fridge today and I should since I'm going grocery shopping so maybe we'll do that today too okay not my pillow not my pillow no that's where I draw the line I like this pillow she has, Millie has already torn up two rugs, so that's good. Um, she is starting to want to tear up my um, couch cushions and the couch itself. So we will see how much of this apartment is left after the next five days, six days. I don't even know how long we have her, to be honest. Ow, Millie. If you bite my ass one more time, we're done. We are done here. All right, guys, here's what we've got. We have some mashed potato and corn, lots of rice, leftover soup from last night, uh, leftover spam and sausages, some plain pasta, and this chicken pot pie. So I can't eat this. This was originally for me, but um, I've never, ow, I've never had this, ow. 
I've never had the Swanson brand before and I can only eat chicken if it okay, if it's cooked a certain way. And this is not cooked the way that I like and it has too much of a chicken taste if that makes sense. So I think I'll make this for my husband and I'll have the mashed potatoes and maybe some of, what, some of this, I don't know. Sorry, Millie is growling because she wants Fudge to play with her and he's not having it. But I definitely need to clean up my fridge because I just found a moldy tomato, so that's not good. Here's where I'm confused. It says that I'm supposed to slit the top crust. This thing is, she is solid. How, how do you split this crust? Look. Nothing, got nothing. That's as deep as I got. So we're not slitting anything, Swanson. Anyway, I'm just going to heat up all these leftovers, have lunch with Vince, and then I think I need to get straight into filming this YouTube video, although the weather is kind of crappy now, so I'm almost contemplating pushing it until tomorrow when um, it's supposed to, allegedly it's gonna be sunny, but we'll see. I just napped for like four hours and I allow myself these guilt-free, super long weekend naps or midday naps on the weekend. 
like where I don't, I don't set an alarm. It's just whenever my body wakes up, that's when I wake up. So yeah, I've been sleeping for like four hours, but I am gonna go grocery shopping. Normally my husband and I grocery shop together, but lately I've been wanting to do it by myself. Um, I've done the last, I wanna say three shops by myself and it, it, it is exhausting, but I don't know. It's just way less stressful for me because I feel like I can like take my time and like look at things. Not that my husband ever rushes me. He is like the best person like to just go anywhere with. Like whenever we go shopping together or like, you know, I want to go somewhere. He's so like, he's so patient. He just sits there. He never complains. He just, I don't know. My husband, he's amazing. But it's for me. Like I feel like I'm being pressured. What is happening with my baby hairs over here? That's how you know it was a good nap. And I don't know. It's just been kind of... I wouldn't go as far as to say, sorry, I'm like trying to rotate my contact because it's not, it's not clear. Um, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's fun. Sorry, this is the, this angle is terrible. Um, I just am too lazy to put it on a different tripod. But yeah, I wouldn't go as far as to say that it's fun grocery shopping by myself. I don't actually think grocery shopping is fun. I do feel like it's a chore still, but it's a little bit more enjoyable these days by myself. I just put my headphones on, I zone out, and I don't know. It's just, I don't mind doing it by myself now. So anyway, my husband, he obviously offered if he wants to like, if we want to go grocery shopping together, but I'm gonna do it by myself. I feel like I'm used to this angle way more than my left side. I don't know if I feel like most people are from my plant channel, but if you are and you watched my last week of plant to-dos um, that went up on Saturday, you will know that I suspected that I had a sinus infection. Now, um, I know already that if I call my doctor, he's probably going to prescribe me some kind of medicated sinus spray nasal spray or whatever. So I think I'm gonna try the over-the-counter method stuff first, just to see if it helps. Um, like I can do one of those, like, what is it? Saline nasal sprays. I'm just like confused because I've never had a sinus issue before, but I, I feel like it is my sinus because it's like giving me sort of a headache a little bit. And I had a toothache the other day, and now I don't. So I don't know, I think, yeah, something something funky is going on. I also need to find someone who can thread my eyebrows here, because I haven't had them threaded since I was in California, and they are looking like a hot, hot mess these days. Um, I'm just gonna be doing a little skincare stuff before I go. Um, so I've been using a little bit of this eczema cream, which I will throw up on the screen here um, from my friend Jing. She gave me a little sample. I bought, oh, I bought this one before. I showed it in a vlog before. I hope that no one bought this per my recommendation because it does nothing. And it smells like Nair. It, it smells, it smells, awful. I don't like it. So I haven't really been using that. It didn't do anything. I've been using this with a combination of this Sovereign, Sil so so what? Sovereign Silver Bioactive Silver Hydrosol. Um, it's basically colloid colloidal silver or something like that. It was recommended by my friend Amanda. She like swears by it for everything. I was a little bit hesitant to use it for eczema. I don't know why it seems kind of scary. But seriously, it has helped so much. It has done more in like three days than any of my eczema creams have done in like years, honestly. So what I've been doing is just taking like a little bit of this, putting it on my hand. And then I honestly, like every time I apply my eczema cream, I just add like a drop of this silver stuff and I just mix it around and I use it on my eczema and like seriously the redness has gone down so like the inflammation has gone down a lot. It used to be like bright red. I think if anyone 
watched any um, of my earlier vlogs where I have no makeup on and I'm like doing my face, you can see how like angry it was. So, I mean, it still has, it's, it's not gone away 100%, but holy smokes, is it so much better. So Amanda saves my ass again. It's very magical when <laughs> the um, plant hobby like kind of turns into just but when plant friendships sort of evolve into just like now we're just friends, you know? Um, so yeah, she saved my ass. She kept bugging me to get it. And I'm like, fine, fine, I will get it. And this is what happens when I'm freaking stubborn. I just need to listen. So if anybody is struggling with eczema or like, I don't know, I guess like hot spots on their face, that stuff is great. So I'm just doing normal skincare stuff. Um, I am so low on this stuff that I have been showing you guys. Like there's almost nothing left. And I don't have my passport. Um, I'm having it renewed right now. So I'm waiting for my new one to come in the mail. So I can't even go across the border to Trader Joe's because there's a Trader Joe's probably like 40 minutes from me. Um, if the border lineup isn't really long. Excuse me, why are you crying? Why are you crying, little girl? I'm just waiting for my, um, for my passport to come in and I'm going straight to Trader Joe's. I'm actually just gonna go straight to Washington. Go to Panda Express, go to Trader Joe's, go to Target. Go to Panda Express again. That is all I'm gonna do for moisturizing stuff. Um, I don't feel like I care enough to put any makeup on my face. I think that I'm just gonna put on blush, honestly. I can't really be bothered with putting on like under eye concealer, which is usually my minimum when I leave the house, which I need to buy more of. Um, I'm going to take you guys along with me and show you what I find at the store. I was contemplating going to this different store to get my makeup, um, it's just slightly more expensive, so I usually try and stick with Walmart if I can, but I don't know, we'll see. I have to go over that way anyway because I'm trying to find these noodles that I found, or found. I went to Hot Pot with friends um, last week and they had this thing called a mung bean, mung bean noodle and I've never had it before, which is so weird because I just love noodles and I feel like I've tried so many different kinds of noodles already yet I've never had a mung bean noodle there's not much taste to it at all but it is the most incredible incredible texture of a noodle ever so I'm trying to find it and um, at this Asian market that's just across the bridge they have a bunch of stuff for hot pot and so I'm thinking that they might have the mung bean noodle there and I won't have to go to a super, super far Asian market. Oh my gosh, my nose is so runny. I don't even know, how does one get a sinus infection? Where does it come from? Who infected my nose? So I've been trying to use up this e.l.f. putty blush. It's terrible. I've been um, looking at like reviews of it on YouTube and stuff and yeah it's kind of the same thing it's really drying like it's a very dry formula and it doesn't blend really well so you need like a lot of it but I just I like the color and I don't want to waste it so I've been using it but my goodness I'm sitting I'm sitting here for like 20 minutes just doing my blush because it takes forever all right I'm gonna get ready and then um, I will meet you guys at the store I'm actually scooching back, so I know I said I'd see you at the store, but um, my bag is so heavy. Uh, what's even in here? Because I'm like carrying it. I'm like, there's no way I can lug this around today. So we're going to clean out my bag. And Alice actually said I should do this in a video because I was pulling out random shit. She's like, you need to just clean it out on the vlog and just expose yourself. So here we are. Not the most flattering lighting, but... We have some tissues, a receipt for uh, 
Huey home. Oh, this is my um my receipt. I bought a seventy dollar pillow for my husband for his birthday. Who knew pillows were that expensive? I have a little doggy bag here that I can throw everything away. Just got random trash. I still haven't used this freaking skin fix. I don't know. I'm so stingy when it comes to um. <laughs> test products. I'm like, when is it going to be the perfect time to use it? Um, oh, oh, nice. I have, I don't need this. I'm wearing a mask. This is my lip liner that I use as a lipstick. I have Tic Tacs for when I get nauseated. Um, a bunch of bobby pins, more trash, a toonie. Is this a toonie or a, a loony? Two dollars, toonie. Um, more napkins, more receipts. I don't even want to know how much I'm. Oh my gosh, I have been swiping the house down. Like, I have not been very financially responsible. I'm finding these happy face stickers all over my belongings. Um, my wallet, have my. Uh, sanitizing spray, more sanitizing spray. I have a coupon for Value Village, which I should just keep in here. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Don't go away. What's in here? I've got this little baggie of things. Uh, a notebook tampons, lotion. Ooh, I could use this. This is my favorite. Peppermint Halo from Sage. I'm not really using a ton of Sage products anymore. I used to be a Sage whore bag, but I've since sort of stopped using a lot of essential oils and stuff, um, mostly because I'm scarred from when, from when Pudge almost D-I-E-D -E from a humidifier. But Peppermint Halo, I cannot live without. Um, I have these corded headphones, which I don't even know why I have them anymore because uh, I don't wear corded headphones. Diarrhea relief, because you should never leave your house without some diarrhea relief. Um, cough drops. Okay, it seems like everything in here I need. Full-size lighter. My tiss tissues. A straw and an old movie ticket actually not that bad why is it so heavy oh this is really random pimple popping pimple popping stuff which i don't use for pimple popping i actually i ordered something recently and it came with that and i was like oh i'm just gonna use this for my plant stuff and i was gonna like put it in my plant room which i never did so now it's just been sitting in my bag more tissues and more stickers. Why do I have so many tissues? I should leave some in here. My panic attack pills and my chicken nugget. This is not a real chicken nugget. This is a keychain and it broke and I've been needing to fix it. Honestly, why was my bag so heavy? There's not even that many like things in it. Maybe it was just my water bottle making it heavy. I found a, what is this? I don't know what the coins are here still, 25 cents. I could leave this in the car as a weapon. Sure. Okay. I think I am going to, it's still somewhat early, so I think I am going to trek it over the bridge and try and go to that Asian store and then the, uh, the, it's called, what is it called? Shoppers? Where it's, it's kind of like a CVS hybrid with Walgreens where they have like a bunch of makeup. So anyway, I will see you there.
I am sitting in the dark right now because I don't, there's people around me and I don't want them to know I'm filming, but I'm outside of Walmart. I'm so tired. I was gonna film at uh, inside and like show you guys the insane grocery prices right now. This entire shop probably cost upward of $350. That's to feed two people modestly. Like I don't buy like extra things we don't need. I'm not buying really snacks anymore. Very little amount of meat, which I'll show you guys the haul later if I'm able to film with um, Millie <laughs> running around everywhere. But it's crazy, you guys. I need to freaking post a video like every day just to live. But I'm so hungry and I feel, I actually felt like I was gonna pass out. I think my sugar might be low too, but um, I grabbed some jerky and I'm just starving. I just need to get something in my system before I literally faint. And I don't wanna be eating jerky right now, but there's the only thing I could think of that would fill me up before dinner. Wait, did I tell you why I didn't film inside? Everyone and their mothers are here at Walmart tonight and it was too crazy. Um, it was like shoulder to shoulder in the aisles and I didn't want to like have my phone while people are trying to like look for stuff. So it was nice though, cause um, while I was at the first store, my cousins from Hawaii, um, they FaceTimed me and they were with their kids and it's kind of sad. My my cousin moved to Hawaii like, I don't know, seven years ago. Like they lived there, they came back, then they moved back. And I haven't seen her kids, the twins, since they were little. And um, I actually saw them a lot when they were babies. And when they were FaceTiming me, they're nine now. When they were FaceTiming me, they were, I was like, do you remember who I am? And they were like, no. But yeah, it was nice to talk to them. I was just like walking around. They were like quizzing me on things. They were like asking me math questions and like science questions. And I was like, one thing you should know about me is I'm not very smart. So don't ask me these things. Also, they wanted to know what I did for a living. And I was like, oh, I'm on YouTube. And they looked at me like, you? No, anyway, um, I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna cook for dinner tonight. It's gonna be the first time that I attempt this. It might be really bad, but I I just have this violent craving for it, which I'll show you inside um, or when I get home. I'm gonna finish eating my jerky, then go on TikTok and then drive home. And I'll see you in the kitchen. today kibble and raw lamb oh and salmon can't forget the salmon i am exhausted so exhausted let's do this child's first yeah. oh that's too much she said fill up the bowl that's how much i've been giving her and then I'm adding these lean cut salmon things. It's just like canned salmon. Oh, it's not even framed. I'm happy they at least eat well together and they're not like, neither of them are food aggressive. Where's Pudge? Oh my God, there's no way I'm gonna find Pudge's thing in here. I'll give Pudge a muscle though. I know, I know. 
new muscles. So I'm gonna take everything out, show you this little haul, and then I'll put everything away. I got Alfredo sauce. Not This was the only one they had, and I don't even like this brand. It's infuriating. It's so dark in here. I also got um, deter detergent. Toilet bowl cleaner, barbecue sauce, Oyster sauce, I'll need this for dinner tonight. Cinnamon toast crunch, my husband's bars for his lunch. Um, we're not eating a lot of snacks right now, but I did get popcorn as a treat for, hello, can you focus? A treat for when we're good. <laughs> um, I've been really liking these noodles. It's a tonkatsu flavor. Um, noodle and it's so good, just like a soft boiled egg. I got, we had some, we have extra cream cheese in our fridge so I just grabbed some, some bagels. Orange juice and coffee creamer. That is bag one. Another snack that I got is a health, healthier ar al altern alternative. Um, the little veggie sticks, that's just sea salt flavored. I got some eggs, two boxes of spaghetti, they had no fettuccine, um, creme mushrooms, some enoki mushrooms, which I don't know if I'm going to put it in tonight's dish, maybe not. Cilantro, broccoli, heads, more kimchi, I'm a kimchi girl, uh, green onions, Carrots, which I will need for dinner tonight. Um, oh, as well as the broccoli. Whoa, 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 whoa. I grabbed some salmon fillets because of, of course I prefer the fresh one, but the frozen one is so much cheaper, obviously. Um, these are my favorite pot stickers, the chicken and veggie. I can't eat any dumplings really um, that have like pork in it or beef or anything. I can only eat chicken and veggie. The things that I make my husband for lunch, frozen veggies for my husband. Uh, I got the shrimp stuffed fish balls that I showed you on a, I think it was a good soup recipe. And then I got some corn dogs. I feel like I need um, something with some kind of protein or sustenance for when I forget to eat and those can be microwaved in one minute. Um, this is, oh, you're over here. This is one of the um, noodles that I opted for at the store. This is a sweet potato vermicelli, and it kind of looks like the same noodles that they use in jap japchae. I, I think I'm saying that right. I don't even know what the recipe is for that. Can I just get out of there? Get out, 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 out. Um, these were the closest that I could find to the noodles that I got at um, the hot pot place. So I'm gonna try making this for dinner. Nope, out of there. I have two. I have two dogs inside of my bag. Hey, out! You guys, out! I got pancake mix because my husband and I love having pancakes for dinner. Um, these are my emergency bars that I'm gonna keep in my bag. Um, I got a new shaver. I did not know that they carried the native um, soaps in Canada. I knew that they sold the deodorants, but they don't sell the soap at Walmart. But I went to London Drugs and I was able to find the eucalyptus and mint. This is my favorite smell in the whole in the whole entire world. And I'm so happy. I found the body wash. I'm gonna be so excited to take a shower tonight. Um, I restocked on our Kewpie Mayo. Walmart croissants, don't sleep on them, they're so good. And then, I don't know what this is, <laughs> there was like no English writing on it, really, but um, I saw a grill and I saw meat and I feel like this might be good as a seasoning. I think it's some kind of like seasoned soy sauce sort of thing. So I'm gonna try and make that with our dinner tonight. 
This is the beef that I picked up for dinner. They're just like beef stir, stir fry strips. And I'm gonna try and make it with one of these noodles and like broccoli and some carrots and stuff. Um, and then I grabbed, this is a Filipino meat. It's called tocino. It's basically like sweet pork. Um, this is really the only kind of pork that I can eat that I make at home. Anything else, I can't eat it. Oh, except for this dish called sinigang, which is a pork tamarind, a tamarind pork soup, which I will eventually make on an episode of Good Soup one of these days. Um, I grabbed a package of drumsticks and I got a beef sirloin quick roast for my husband. I don't really eat roast, but um, I need a meat dish for him that will fill him up. And then I, I'm gonna try these. I, I've been seeing these like a lot at the store. These are like water flavor enhancers. Um, it says that it is two calories. Well, this has two calories. This has zero calories. It doesn't say how much sugar is in here though, which is a little concern, con concerning. Yeah. Anyway, it says natural flavors, I'm sure. What else? What else did you get? No, don't you dare eat our beef. I grabbed another package of that seaweed because I blew through the other box. I also grabbed two um, boxes of our favorite bubbly which is the new raspberry flavor. Personal purchases, I was gonna show you this tonight, but I'll just show it to you now. I grabbed those two um, nail polishes that I think I inserted in the little shopping montage. I grabbed this dewy coconut setting mist. I usually do the stay all night micro fine mist from e.l.f., but I do find it to not be very I don't know. It makes me look a little flat, I feel, and I have really dry skin, so I feel like a dewy one might be good for me. Um, I'm finally going to be trying the e.l.f. primer. I've heard such good things about this, so I'm excited to give it a shot. Um, I got some more concealer for my under eye, and I got my nasal spray. So anyway, I'm gonna, it's literally like 9 p.m., so I'm going to just quickly put away all of the groceries and then um, we will start making dinner. I forgot how bad bully stick smells. It, wait, I forgot how bad bullies, bully sticks smell. My brain lately. Um, it's so bad. It smells like straight penis in here. <laughs> I lit a candle and hopefully it helps. 
So before I start dinner, I need to do two things. I need to handle this sinus thing that I have happening. Um, I picked up this Otrivin. It says it's, it's a medicated nasal spray. It unblocks your nose in minutes, even though I don't have a blocked sinus. It's just, it feels bad in there. It says that it soothes dryness and irritation and cleanses away mucus. I don't really have mucus. I don't even know if I have a sinus infection. Honestly, I could probably just call my doctor, but getting an appointment with him sometimes is just a pain in my ass. So it says, before using for the first time, prime the pump by spraying several times into the air. Okay, here we go. I'm scared. I hate spraying stuff up my nose. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Okay. Look like this. This. How do you do this? I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like it. Nope, I don't like it. It feels like it went straight to my brain. Thanks, I hate it. Second thing. I want to try one of these. I got pineapple mango pretty much for my husband um, and I got strawberry water watermelon because that seemed like um, a safe flavor. Our little bubbly sparkling water addiction is getting expensive. So I was like, okay, maybe if I find an alternative, we can go back and forth between doing these and maybe only getting bubbly every few weeks instead of every week says one squeeze. Oh, two, three. Okay. I hope this doesn't stain my cup. That looks a little light. It's not mind blowing, but it's not terrible. It's kind of giving a little bit of a medicine taste. Seven out of 10? Solid seven out of 10. Okay, let's make dinner because it is damn near 10 o'clock. Oh, I don't like the way that feels in my nose at all. Um, okay, let's just wash this broccoli first. Cook the dry noodle in boiling water for eight to 10 minutes. Rinse in cold water and, dr and drain. Okay, okay. Okay, I can do that. I can feel a drip going down my throat. I hate it. Oh, it tastes bad. In the meantime, I'm going to cut up some of this garlic. Millie's crying because she can't. Is your tail bothering you? Poor thing. What's wrong? Yeah, you're a Rottweiler with a tail, aren't you? Is your tail bothering you? Oh, sweet girl. She has the sweetest face. You have the sweetest face. You're so pretty. Look at those beautiful eyes. I wasn't calling to give you anything. I just wanted to see if you're okay. What's wrong? What happened? What happened? Are you okay? Why are you crying? It's so sad. girl is food driven and she begs more than Pudge. Pudge actually never even used to beg as a puppy. He like was not aware of like what human food was. It's a hundred percent my husband and I's fault for giving him table food. Otherwise he would like never beg at all.
sorry about the audio. Um, I can only control, <laughs> I can only control the fan so much, um, but it just automatically turns on when it wants. So, um, hello, I just got out of the shower. I think that new body wash cured my depression. I'm just using the dry scalp care from Dove, which isn't really doing jack crap, to be honest. It's so strange navigating, like, getting older, you know? Like, my mom always used to, like, say, like, oh, just watch, you know? When you hit your 30s, you're gonna notice all these things. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. She's not joking. It's like the dry scalp and, like, the weight gain and the hormones and the freaking adult acne that nobody warns you about. Yeah, it's been great. <laughs> no, I don't wear my hair to sleep. I don't, what? I don't wear my hair wet to sleep, but I do have to put it up for my skincare routine or else I'm gonna have a hernia. I've already kind of shown you guys my skincare routine. But let's just do it again for the sake of this vlog. I'm just using that uh, eczema cream again with the silver, silver stuff. I always do this as my first step to my skincare routine because I want it touching my nose. But actually, the first thing that I should do is use my toner. And I'm using the one from The Ordinary. My favorite stuff, so cheap, lasts so long. I actually need to place another order because I am all out of my hyaluronic acid. And I know that I could like honestly buy any hyaluronic acid, but the one from The Ordinary is so cheap. It's like, I might as well just get that one. But like the bumps on my forehead are coming back because I haven't used it in like a week. I was supposed to pick up some more of my CeraVe, um, CeraVe, CeraVe moisturizer because I really like it. Um, the price went up, of course, and I forgot. It's great. Um, I think tonight I'm going to be using the Buffet um, Peptide Serum. I was going to do a, uh, whatchamacallit, a retinol treatment tonight, but I think I might go for a run tomorrow and when I know that I'm gonna be under the sun even if like the sun's not out I try to not do a retinol treatment because you're not gonna like this I don't wear sunscreen I have never <laughs> worn sunscreen like regularly I only wear sunscreen like when I go to the beach or like I'm like traveling in a tropical place but other than that, I never wear sunscreen, and I know that's terrible, but I don't know. I don't like the feeling of it. People have suggested like these like really light sunscreens that like you can't even tell that it's on you, but I can, and I hate it. I did my cupping treatment last night. If you guys are wondering what <laughs> this contraption is, um, I will link the video that I showed using it in the description. So I'm gonna skip that tonight, but I am gonna do a little bit of gua sha. Um, I do this pretty much every night that I don't do the cupping. Something that I wanted to try, and I, I think I might have mentioned this in another video, that like trend that's going around right now, that's the like the ice where you like put a mold in the freezer and then you like ice your face. You like roll it on your face. I don't know. It seems fun. It seems gimmicky, but it seems fun. I don't know what it does. I'm just using a Trader Joe's under eye cream because I don't believe in using expensive eye creams. I have gone down that road before where I spent way too much money on an eye cream that people were hyping up and it did nothing. So the only thing that it had was like a cooling effect, which is nice, but like there are other products that you can use like literally from e.l.f. that do the same thing. And yeah, I didn't find that it was depuffing or brightening or anything. The only thing is 
I don't like the smell of this. It kind of smells like booty. And then I'm just using the Ordinary Moisturizer. I'm actually thinking about getting microbladed the next time I'm in the States. So I actually have, um, I'm getting a few tattoos. I think I'm gonna get a bunch on this arm, like patchwork. There's a few things that I already know I wanna get. And I think I might try, yeah, and get microbladed, not by the same person, but meaning on the topic of tattoos. Um, my eyebrows are like pretty, I would say thick and full for the most part, but I do have like patchy spots that like, I would love if it was just filled in and then I don't have to worry about it. Um, I just don't like how you have to like maintain it. I wish it was like truly just permanent and then you never have to think about it again. I just know like my personality, I'm gonna get microbladed and then I'm never gonna go back for a touch up. That's just, that's just being for real. Also, I just realized I'm legit in a towel in front of you guys. Let's just pretend I'm in a tube top <laughs> and it's 2003 and it's cool again. I think this is the end of the road for us on this here vloggy day. Really what the end of my night is gonna look like is probably just making a cup of tea watching Netflix and then I'm gonna go to sleep because I've got a long day of chores tomorrow and work and I need rest. But I feel like I got a lot done today. I mean, I don't know, half of it felt like a lazy Saturday, mostly because I slept for like four hours. Um, but I did wake up somewhat early this morning to work. So yeah, got grocery shopping done, which I'm very, very, very happy about, but yeah. Anyway, before this towel slips off, I'm gonna go, but thank you guys for watching another vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And um, we have more cleaning slash apartment redecorating stuff coming up in the schedule. Um, but next week might be another vlog. I'm not 100% sure yet. But um, if you guys have su suggestions on things you'd like to see, please don't forget to send those my way. I always need more ideas. Um, I hope you guys have a great day or a great night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next vlog.